The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. Welcome to the Kevin Shorey Show, coming to you from the Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today's special guest, Josh Clark, Dan and Joni Kaline, special music by Radney Pennington, Lily, and now here's your host, Kevin Shorey. Hey, for those that are watching the Kevin Shorey Show for the very first time, that was my little doggies, and I was home, and I just thank God for the technology we have with the portal, fueled by the fuelless generator. <laughs> it's a great day to serve the Lord. It's a great day in Branson, Missouri. You know, we come to you from Branson, Missouri at the Branson Mill, just like the announcer said, and uh, it is like today, it's going to be 60 degrees. We're going to get up to 70 this week, and uh, winter, where did you go? Yes, don't come back. We don't want you. It's a great day to serve the Lord. It's a great day to be alive. How many had a birthday in March? Anybody have a birthday in March? Any birthdays today? Want to give away birthday gifts? Yes? No? No birthdays. Well, somebody does have a birthday. Did you know Carrie Underwood has a birthday? Jesus, take the wheel. Take it from my hands. I love you, Carrie. I voted for her on American Idol, so, uh, you know, I'm part of the reason she's famous. Also, it's also, I don't know how old he is, but I think he's up there, but he still looks so good. Chuck Norris, it's his, ha, it's his birthday. Chuck Norris, do you remember the popular television show? Raise your hand if you can name the TV show that Chuck Norris starred in that was one of his most famous shows. Raise your hand. In the eyes of a ranger, the unsuspecting well, stranger. Right, hold on, there's one right over there. The truth, this lady right over here. Right. Tell us your name and where you're from. Missouri. Hi, Heather from Branson. Do you know the name of that show? Yes, Walker, Texas Ranger. That is right. Yay, Heather. You just got dinner for two at Mr. Gilberti's, one of our favorite Italian restaurants here in uh, Branson, Missouri. They're actually in Hollister, Missouri. Mr. Gilberti's, uh, Mr. Gilberti's, great friend of mine, great restaurant. If you haven't been, you get to go now and bring somebody with you, all right? Our famous song is, When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Gilberti's. That's right, so uh, we'll be sued for that, but it's all right. Uh, also, on this day that we're airing uh, this program on television, in 1862, the U.S. government issued the first paper money. Paper money came out in 1862, and in 1876, Somebody can win a prize. Raise your hand if you know who this person was. They made their first phone call if they had invented the phone to their assistant in 1876 on this day. What was the name of the gentleman that invented it and made the first phone call? His name was... I don't see hands. I just see... Here, somebody raise it. Yes, ma'am, right here. Alexander Bell. It was Alexander Graham Bell, that is correct. Yes, you have just won a telephone. No, you have... <laughs> Pick it. Do you have any Kevin Shorey CDs? Do you know I actually record CDs? You did? Well, we don't give her another CD then. How about our book on history? It is going to be in my hand any second now. This book is the... the uh, written by Theodore Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt, our president and uh, Henry Cabot Lodge, one of our senators from Massachusetts. And this is a great book. Share with your, if you have kids or grandkids, uh, uh, please, it's the heroic tales of American history, the true thing. Uh, tell us, ever, tell us your first name again, everybody. My name is Cheryl Branson. Cheryl is here from Branson as well. And that shiny blue hat, Cheryl, there, you have won this. Do you have this book? Now you have. Not only read it, but share it. I really believe we're losing our, our history the true stories of why America is as great as it is. Thank you, Mark, if you'll hand that to her. Um, also created on January the 6th, 
2012, so just about four years ago in January, somebody decided, I, I'm sure it was a farmer, I don't know, but they made it Popcorn Lovers Day. How many love popcorn? There's popcorn on all the tables today. Yay! I got popcorn at my desk. I'll share it with Josh if he likes popcorn for sure. I think I still have peanuts from the last program, so I got peanuts and popcorn. And uh, who doesn't want pop? But here's, here's one day. Before we go, move on to the program, and I want to do this as quickly as possible. Get that microphone to some of our crew, okay, if you can. Mark, we'll start with you. But, but it is, I don't know who started this, but it's Middle Name Pride Day. So you need to be prideful, not prideful, but proud of your middle name. A lot of people don't like to tell their middle I don't like to tell them. I'm Kevin who, Shory. And uh, <laughs> no, my middle name is Dale. And so, D-A-L-E, yes, I am Kevin Dale. Mark, you are Mark? Dwayne. Mark Dwayne. No wonder he doesn't tell us that. <laughs> Mark Twain. That, yeah. that was my dad's name, too. We do. Have yeah. A, yeah, my dad's name Thanks. was Dale. Yeah, so, we, you know, dad's got the, are you the firstborn son? So, yeah, we always get the, that name. If, if the mom says, no, we're not going to name him a junior, then they settle for the middle name. <laughs> so I think that's how that happened. Uh, so Marshall, your middle name is Marshall? Montgomery. Marshall Montgomery. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's my grandmother's middle name. Ooh, Sarah. really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, you know, my son was named after uh, another, uh, uh, well, he was named, no, 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 it's Tanner Lane, but Catherine was named, our daughter, it was our daughter, I'm sorry, I'm mixing them up. Catherine was named after grandparent as well, Rogers. So it's Catherine Rogers. And uh, so anyway, middle name. Who's your brother? Mitchell. Mitchell's our assistant producer. We got a Mitchell middle, middle name. My middle name is Joe. Joe. Yo. Mitchell Joe. Joe. Come on. Mitchell Joe. Come on. Mitchell Joe. Right, Joe. And his yeah. wife's name is her stage name. She's Madison McKenzie. Who, why is she not on the program this week? We have got to have her every week. That she's great, great singer. And, uh, yes. So, and the rest are in the control room. I don't know. Maybe uh, Rebecca's over here on the on camera. She's taking the pictures of everybody. So it's hard to, maybe Marshall can get uh, Rebecca on the camera. Middle name? My middle name is Joy. Joy, of course, Rebecca Joy. What's your brother's middle name, Joseph? He's David. our director. His middle name is David. David, Joseph. So that's yep. wonderful. Biblical names. Mm -hmm. You know, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And yep. David, well, we know David. And uh, there's Scott over there in the middle camera, or the, the camera three, one, I don't know, three or one, I get them back, three, he's three. Scott, your middle name is? Austin. Scott Austin. But it was Ooh. supposed to be Arthur, and my great-grandma forgot my grandpa's name. <laughs> oh, and so on the birth certificate they put? Austin. Austin <laughs> instead of Austin. <laughs> that is a great story. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Over on the keyboard that we just heard from, Yes, Mom, I, we got to do it. I know you don't like this, but she goes by Christine, Chris, that's my mom, but that's actually her middle name. So we can just leave it there, right? Yes, we'll just leave it Or tell them what your first name is. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's middle name. Uh, so her middle name is actually Christine. If she wants to tell her first name, she can. If not, I why won't not? say anything about Muriel. Why not? <laughs> yes, I just got shot. I just got shot. Before I pass away, I want everybody to come with us. Uh, if you can't be at the studio, we hope you will come out to Branson, Missouri, to the Branson Mill, to the studio here, and be at our live taping every day. Uh, but if you can't be, but you, can, you want to set aside a vacation time, the end of August, 1st of September, we're all going to go on a vacation together. We're all going to fellowship together. We're all going to pray for one another. We're all going to have great time of eating and feasting, which I love that part of it. Because the Bible says in Proverbs that blessed is the fat and the green and the growing. And so that's it. I'm not a fat person. I just have an expanding ministry. Anyway, how about going with us? <laughs> going with us. To hey, everyone. This is Kevin Shorey. And I'd like to extend a personal invitation for you to join me on our first annual Family of Friends Cruise to Alaska, August 27th through September 3rd, 2016. I appreciate all the support you've given me over the years. And what better way to say thanks than to take a vacation and spend some time together. And what makes this cruise extra special 
It's that it's an incredible destination, Alaska. We'll leave Seattle, Washington for seven days and seven nights on the beautiful Crown Princess and explore the many adventures Alaska has to offer. Juneau, Alaska's capital city. Skagway. Ketchikan, Alaska's first city. Victoria, British Columbia. And a special bonus you're gonna love, a nine hour scenic cruise of gorgeous Glacier Bay. Cruising is an incredible vacation value because everything's included. Your stateroom with comfortable king size beds. Gourmet food around the clock with 24 hour complimentary room service. Mm -mm. Lots of activities and entertainment on board ship. And the option to just relax and enjoy the view. Explore a variety of incredible places or both. In addition to all that, I'm planning special activities just for you that won't be available to anyone else on the ship. It's important to note that you must book your reservation through Paradise Travel to be a part of our special group. And that's easy to do. Just go to kevinchory.com and click on the special Family of Friends Cruise link. There you'll find all the information you'll need to make your reservation. Don't miss the boat. Treat yourself, your friends, and family to a vacation of a lifetime in Alaska where you'll enjoy great gospel music, inspirational teaching, preaching, and a healing service, delicious food, incredible scenery and wildlife, and memories that will last a lifetime. That's the Kevin Shorey Family of Friends Cruise to Alaska, August 27th through September 3rd, 2016. Come and join all the fun. We're going to have a blast. Come on with us. We are going to have a blast. Yeah. Like we have a blast on this program every day. And uh, I was trying to find it because I saw doubters out in the, in the, in the audience. But, but God does say in Proverbs that uh, he loves the fat of the land. And so I, I, that, that's me. I'm the fat. Well, it's there. And uh, Leviticus says the fat belongs to the Lord, so <laughs> we, either way, we give it all to him. And uh, speaking of fat, I'm just kidding. No, that was horrible. No. Is it flipped on there? It's no, yeah, that's there a bad segue. Oh, no, I was let me wondering. Start I was over. like, that's a perfect introduction no, for me. No, it's As not. As you were talking over there, I was thinking to myself, that's right. You're <laughs> a friend of the ministry here, and so I know we can play around with you, but for sure... Uh, well, I wouldn't Why you put the sloth away? Bring the sloth I, away. I know. I love the sloth. Oh, there we go. They're coming back again uh, next month. They're going to be back on again, the, uh, the wonderful Promised Land Zoo. That's a great attraction Jungle here. Jungle Josh. Yeah, Jungle yeah. Josh. And we had banana, no, buckaroo, <laughs> banana, <laughs> buckaroo Bryce. Yes, yes, and, you know, they have a tiger named Bruce Lee. They the do. Zoo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, he's beautiful. Oh, he's beautiful. All their animals are. Mm. The last time they were here, we actually put a, uh, and, and it's coming up. We, it hasn't showed on, uh, well, it'll show by the time <laughs> we show. I get so confused with the TV and the live. You, you really, if you're watching by TV, you need to see us live. Go to kevinshoy.com and you watch us at 10 a.m. Central Time, every day live. Or if you have Roku on the WGAN, everybody say WGAN. Stands for We Got a Network, which we do. It's a whole network, 24 hours on. Roku, and we're adding, you know, we saw Marshall and Mom, they're going to have their own programs. Mom's going to talk about health and food, Marshall about sports, and we just think all of those things are part of, and we're going to have a film critic slash uh, what's happening in Branson show starring Josh Clark. Really? Yes, we're announcing it right now. Awesome. And if you shake my hand, it's a done deal. So just back the money truck up. Yes, I'll back give you my address. <laughs> no. just, just dump it out yes. in the yard. It's there, fine. There is no money involved, but I'll let you play with the <laughs> sloth, okay? But uh, no. Uh, but, but let me say one thing before. Speaking of money, we have got a great missions project that we're doing. We are filling it up. Everybody at your table, you have one of these barrels. You have a clear one. I have a, a plastic yellow one. This is called the Buddy Barrels. Buddy is their, their mascot. And uh, here's a picture of him here. I've got the bucket of Buddy. Here we go. And we're collecting coins, and we're sending it all to BGMC. It's the Boys Girls Missions Challenge. And right now, all of these funds are going into Africa. And not only will this go to Africa, into the jungle, into the bush, to help them get water and food and supplies for the missionaries, but the Assemblies of God, which is the, uh, the uh, directors of this, this foreign missions project, the Assemblies of God denomination is joining with this ministry and is going to is doing out a challenge for 
the fuelish generators. One of the issues that they have in Africa in the bush is have electricity. You know, how are they going to do the microphones, how they can take instruments, how they can turn on lights to have church. Well, they are matching. So for every half, these, these go, uh, are seven, uh, seven ninety nine. Uh, it, if you will donate four hundred dollars, they will match it with their four hundred. Their three ninety nine. We'll, we'll give them a dollar break. So, but they are, they are willing to take half. If you'll take half, you need one of these for yourself. But if you will also add another four hundred dollars, somebody did that yesterday on our program. After the program, that is going to get a generator to Africa. No lie, it is going to Africa, and we appreciate the Assemblies of God BGMC ministry, and uh, we appreciate all the partners that will do that so we can get electricity and spread the gospel. Well, you know it's the last days because it says that in the last days, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached around the world. There's still areas that need to be reached. Let's do it. You might not be able to go into the jungle. You might not get, get to go to Africa. Hope you'll get to go to Alaska, but uh, if you can't, you can't go to Africa, we can send help to the missionaries today. So please help us with that. And uh, if you want more information about the generator itself, it is on the website. And everybody here, we're collecting. We're, we're, we're getting it. Can you hear that? Yes. Everybody that has change, you can't leave this place with your change. You have to put it in the buddy barrel that's on your table. All right? You all see the tables there? Everybody got the tables. They can't do that because the cameras are, are behind them now. So I, I just... Uh, I'm excited about all that, and I'm excited to live in a great town that not only honors the Lord, that honors our country. Hey, by the way, you want some popcorn? Of course. Some po have some popcorn. I haven't even had any popcorn. Of course, it, mm. could, it could hurt my, it could be all the rest of the show. I don't want to do that. You'll be so, pushing out kernels in the. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. true. So, so you so just got me to eat a mouthful of it. Now you're not going to eat it. Well, but I've one got one. another, you know, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 45 minutes mm -hmm. to go on the. So anyway, it's really good. <laughs> anyway, so. Wow. Uh. I want to, there's some peanuts from yesterday. It was peanut, it's peanut uh, lovers month. The whole, the month, whole month? Whole month. Really? Whole month, yes. Moving along. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's. There's a lot of theaters. How many theaters are in Branson? Oh, How wow. many shows? Do you know? Was How there a hundred well, at one time? Or? That, there were, well, there was way more than a hundred at one time. I think now it's, it's, you know, if you count the one-nighters, if you count like the special limited runs, yeah, there's probably... Is that what they were counting? There's, yeah, there's they were counting everything. On any given e night. On any given, you know, we were talk, I was talking to little E earlier about the, <clears throat> the Branson Mall. And back in the day, they had live entertainment at their center stage. That's so true. all those were counted, like every 15 minutes or something like yeah. that, you know. So, which was always fine and good, you know, but you're never going to see all the shows. I've never seen all the shows. It's part of my job. Really? You yeah. haven't seen no. all the shows? No, and, uh, you're there's, and there's a couple shows that, you know, I probably by all rights should have seen, but... I've seen promos, I've seen TV shows, I've seen, you know, been enough to gather, okay, this yeah. is this is kind of what the show is. So, um, you know, some shows, the the more popular shows, the more established mm -hmm. shows. Yeah, ball you know, knobbers. Uh, Presley's, Presley's, things like that. But it's interesting that you mentioned the ball knobbers because they're doing a complete and total rebrand with their show. Really? This year, yeah, they're doing a lot more contemporary music. Okay. They want to have a little bit more of, a, um, of an edge without losing the... Um, they still got the funny guys, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. They still have uh, Jerry with no and Drew. Or whatever. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to completely <laughs> and totally get away from the legacy, but right. they want to build their own legacy. But they were originally, they were the first to have the, the show, show in caves yeah. mm -hmm. and stuff. That's and right. Presley's the first on the Strip, which That's is right. now called the Branson Strip. Mm -hmm. So they're historic. They'll, they'll be forever right. a legacy. And, you know, it's a good thing that you mentioned the word historic because, as you know, we love the segue here on the Kevin Shorey program. The Blackwoods yes. are opening this month. <gasps> At the That's Starlight Theater. Right. That's right. I they spent 15 years, I guess, in Pigeon Forge. They were here for many years, the, yeah. the Blackwood Family Quartet. You know, I mean, they go back years and years oh. with the Blackwood Brothers. I mean, they even played with Elvis. You yeah, know? you know, the Blackwoods had, I don't know if it's still current, but they had more Grammys and more awards mm -hmm. than any other artist in the whole world. You know, I'd have, have to check that. I, I don't think, wanna. yeah, I think somebody might have passed them up by one, but I mean, they were like, mm -hmm. they had more awards. Than any at one time, 
And so their next generation, because I think the first generation is pretty much gone. Yes, yes. So it's, this well, next generation. It's, it's RW and Miss Donna, and they've been doing it for 30-plus yeah. years, 40-plus wow. years. And what years. theater are they at? And they're at the Starlight. At the Starlight. Mm -hmm. So now you're coming to Branson in March, because you're here once a month, so you can tell mm -hmm. us about April when April comes. But you're coming to Branson, and we can't name them all. We love no, them all. No. But, uh, well, we, yeah, we love most of them. Anyway, and so, no. No, well, we do. We love everybody. Well, what we can but do we is... But we can't name them all. No. We'll name some that they got to see when they well, come. Well, we can hit a couple like uh, Dixie Stampede. All right? Yeah. They've been here for 21 years. I believe this is their 22nd and season. And they've remodeled, they right? They are. They, they have done the biggest remodel and renovation since they've been open. They wouldn't tell me exactly how much they spent. I would imagine it's several million dollars to have a giant LED screen, a whole Whoa. new set. Uh, there's new things on the inside. Looks really cool. They're not going to change the show as much. They still have the animals, right? And, yeah, I mean the, the show food. works. You know, they have. The, the, they're still going to divide the audience between the north and the south. And you know, I made sure that when I went out for the uh, the sneak preview that I sat on the side of the south, close enough where I could look Did down you? on the Yankees who were sitting on the northern side. Well, that know. would be me. Yes. Well, you know, nobody's perfect. I'm a, so. be <laughs> well, we won the war, but anyway. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's because we quit. We just got tired of it. Robert E. Lee was like, you know. Who do you have on your shirt today? Oh, it was the every Beatles time, today. Oh, I think it was Johnny Cash. Last it was time? Johnny Cash and Elvis last time. Now we got the it's Beatles. The, and, and, you know, I almost went with He-Man today, but I decided he to go with, with the Beatles. <laughs> but we don't have He-Man in Branson, but we do have Liverpool Legends. Liverpool Legends, And I right? believe that they open uh, the end of this month, beginning of April, and they're here for a limited run. It's really tough to beat two hours of Beatles music anyway, but these guys are really good. They really do a great job. Uh, it's kind of funny that you bring up Liverpool Legends because right down the road from Liverpool Legends, we haven't talked about this since okay. the last time I was on, the Track Family Fun Park, which right. is right beside Andy's Frozen Custard, right. they purchased the Navy Pier Ferris Wheel from Chicago. From Chicago. I've heard uh -huh. that. And is they, it here yet? Yeah. They uh, they're, as a matter of fact, the first truckload of it okay. came in last week. And they're doing some work on the infrastructure. Apparently, they're removing one of their uh, yeah. two or three mini golf courses that they have there. And they're going to work on the uh, the ground, level it that out, is and start putting Chicago, it up. Chicago, Navy uh -huh. Pier. I've been to Chicago. Yeah. And see, I've been there at the uh -huh. lake there where they had it. Uh, and Wow. 150 so feet tall. Wow. Uh, I think it's 40 uh, gondolas. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be right oh, there. Oh, I'll be, be able on to, that. Yeah, I, I love Ferris Wheel. I think that's really cool. That's a, 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 a landmark for folks in the Midwest anyway. Yeah, but for sure. now that's a new landmark for Branson. And what's really cool is that part or the, the first track family fun park in Branson opened uh, Memorial Day weekend in 1981, really? I believe is what it is. Here so I graduated high school. So they want to open up the Navy Pier Ferris wheel in Branson Memorial Day weekend this year, which would be their 35th anniversary. 35th anniversary. Uh -huh. One, has it been 35 years since I graduated high school? Yes, it has. Ton, 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 ton. That's horrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not going to the reunion. Everybody will Why? look. Why? You know, like I didn't go to. Everybody will be old looking. I don't. Yeah, know. I mean, we still look myself good, included. Man. No. I, yeah, I don't think I look older. I've just stretched, <laughs> and you know, fat don't crack, so it, I don't right. have any uh, wrinkles. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so okay, moving along because we just got a couple minutes. You know, we we got the Ferris wheel is coming. Mm -hmm. There's also when is the new uh, rock climbing park? Have you heard about that? Wow. I <laughs> If I'm not bad mistaken, that probably won't be open until next early year? next year. Next year, yeah. okay. They uh, th they've but got Branson some stuff is done. Really doing a lot of things. I mean, plus the the the, the Bigfoot attraction. What? It's going to be. Have you not heard? It's but not Sasquatch or a giant monster truck. It's just. Some it's big called guy? Bigfoot. It's no. It's <laughs> two hundred and I think two hundred and fifty foot tall tower. They're going to have a ride that goes up to the top and drops you down. They're going to oh, have like a little zipline ride. That won't be ride, I Don't drop. No, an no, observation no. deck. All kind of we stuff. Don't but drop. yes. Branson is really sort of going towards attractions, yeah, and things like that, much more than shows here lately. Yeah, and then well, and the shows are always so good and family yeah. oriented. There's nothing nasty. There's no half naked dancers or any of that stuff. I mean, not we, since I quit. And no. they always, <laughs> <laughs> and they always uh, uh, do gospel. Most all of them have gospels area. Well, the, the 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 thing that you hear the most is the three F's. Faith, family, and flag. Right, and, and that's flag, what you yeah. can. That's what you can. Patriotic songs. Yes, and and, and even when the, when the show doesn't necessarily do a patriotic section or a gospel section like Legends, yeah, uh, Legends in concert, they always honor. Yeah. 
the, the, the veterans. Even the legends. Yes. Yeah, I haven't yeah. been in a long time. We're going to have some legends on. I think we, we booked some of them. And we had the Hughes brothers. There's that, uh, that it show. That, I'm not sure what that means. But well, it's the it. Hughes brothers it's are whatever amazing. you want it to be. That's what they say. That's, when I that's exactly, <laughs> cause I've asked them before, and that's the quote they give me. So that's the one I have to, to regurgitate. Yeah. But they're, they're good boys. They really are. And plus, they they've really got like are. 50 kids or whatever between the five of yeah, them. Yeah, I it's think crazy. they said 39 are on stage. At yes, and the, the ladies rotate being pregnant. Yeah. It's like every time I go, I'm serious. Y'all think it's fun? Well, they're trying to grow the product. That you know, they you are. Keep you know, that they show got, going. And everybody does a different job. You know, they got a little two year old selling popcorn. <laughs> and the mama manages them. Yes. I mean, so, oh, I mean, she, it's just like Mama Lena does. Family. Yeah, she does. It's all in the family. That's that's amazing. I mean, there's so many great things. Promised Land Zoo is open year mm -hmm. round, basically. So you can always do that. I mean, I think that Branson is slowly but surely becoming a year round resort area. It is. You know, especially since weather is changing. I don't know about global warming. All I know is uh, it's sure been warm this year. It sure has. <laughs> and we haven't been snowed in yet. No, that's no. That's not wood. Knock on glass. Yes. Whatever. Well, here, knock on wood here. Yeah, 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 exactly. I took care of uh, yes. I uh, love when you come, and I was serious about the TV program. I would love for you to do, I know you're busy, but if you could give a report, um, you know, at least once a week on the Roku, on our network. I think we, I think we might could, could work something out. You could I, name I it, could, anything uh, you want to name it. Well, not anything. Well, you know, within within reason. Yeah, I, I know. Would. I forget who I'm talking to. That, that, I see, that's true. <laughs> ah! that, that is true. Nope, but it's a deal. Yes, sir. It's sure. a deal. All right. You saw it right here. We just made history. Eight minutes a week, y'all. Be Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll let you uh, <laughs> talk about that on your show. Uh, that's and right. <laughs> the people can send in and <laughs> see if they like you. Uh, yes, we could be in trouble. Speaking of trouble. Yes. Last time he was here, he confused me with his name. Oh, you must be talking about Radney. Radney, no, I can say Radney Pennington. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was the little E, because uh. he doesn't say E, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But he <laughs> he's not that little boy, that little E anymore. He just he should be E, you know. He, but uh, he is Radney Pennington, mm -hmm. and he is a great talent. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't, they didn't even tell me what he's singing, but it's going to be awesome. I want you to put your hands together by popular demand. He's back. Here's little E. Evening shadows make me blue When each weary day is through How I long to be with you My happiness Every day I reminisce Dreaming of your tender kiss Always thinking how I miss My happiness A million years it seems Have gone by since we shared our dreams My Hold you again and There will be no blue memories there Whether skies are green or blue Any place on earth will do Just as long as I'm with you My Happiness A million years it seems Have gone by since we shared our dreams But I'll hold you again There will be no blue memories then The weather skies are gray or blue Any place on earth Will do Just as long as I'm With you My Happiness Oh, it doesn't get any better than that I love you, man. I want that jacket. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Do you like the jacket? I do. I really like the jacket. It, it's uh, not pink. No, it's, it's not. It's salmon. 
Salmon. salmon. That's right. It's salmon. salmon. I'll go with salmon. I like the salmon, coral, purple colors. I'm, I'm, I'm really like that. And I'm not scared to wear pink. You know, I do pink, but yeah. you know, I, I'm, I'm good like that. I'll put this back. I promise. But I don't want that growing out of my belly. It, the, tell us about now. Okay, you, you started. Uh, Singing Elvis, is that I your did. first, that, like... That, that was my first... Like, like you're well, two like or three that, years old, right? Yeah, well, that song that I just did, that was uh, Elvis's first recording. Yeah, yeah, and that's a great And it's one classic. of my favorite songs. But, uh, yeah, I started out doing the Elvis thing and uh, just slowly grew into doing more, like, uh, 50s stuff and then got into country and stuff like that. Yeah, but and it was it Mickey Gilly that discovered yes. you and put yes. you up there on, in yeah, this theater? I, I started out with Mickey when I was two years old. Wow. Yep. But now you're born and raised, not Branson, right? Well, uh, yeah, born and raised here in Branson. Oh, you are. You're I one am. of those few I, that I, I get local. to meet. You I'm are. I'm you're local. the real deal. Oh, yeah. And uh, and you really do cover a lot of Branson I do. in yeah. your life now. Yeah. You've been at the Ball Numbers recently. Mm -hmm. I saw yes, that. Yes, I, I recently opened for them. Yeah, and so and where else have you been here since we saw oh, you I'll last? I'll tell you what, I've, I've been everywhere. You travel as well? I, I do. I I've travel. been everywhere. That's a good song, too. Let's do it. Go ahead. Yeah, I've see. been everywhere. No. Uh, but, uh, that's Johnny. Yeah. That's you're not little J. No, no. Yeah, you're a little. No. You're a little what? E. No, 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 no. Wait, e. wait, wait, wait. You're a little what? E. No. <laughs> Can you not say E? E. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Never mind. Go back to E. Yeah. E. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. I like it better the other way. You're right. You were right. Yeah. I yeah. was wrong. Yeah. Go figure. Hey, um, so where are you going to be in, in the near future? Where we're, am I going to be? We're here in March now. And we're so in March. You're right. Um, where are you going to be in March? Where am I going to be? Well, I go up to Springfield about twice a week. Do you? Um, and I do shows up there. Where uh, at? Uh, at Incredible Pizza Company. Okay, uh, on, that's on South right. Campbell. I yeah. saw that too, yeah. yeah. I'm up there on Come Fridays there. and Saturdays. Yeah. And I do uh, shows off and on. Yeah. So that's a whole lot of fun. And then in May, I'm going up to uh, Columbia, Missouri. And I've got... 20 shows booked Whoa. in seven days. Whoa! So, 20 shows in seven 20 days? 20 shows in seven How days. How in the world do you do that? I don't know. Yeah, but you're going to try. A coffee, yeah. Coffee. In Columbia? In Columbia. Okay. Columbia, and uh, do you have any dates in Branson at all that you know? Uh, I'm not uh, Tell you what. They, I they know can, you will. I will. But they can check my Facebook. That's and I always ask. post on there yes, sir. Uh, where I'm going to be and when I'm going to be there. Do they go little E? Uh, no. Oh, My Radney Pennington. Oh, okay. Yeah, Radney. I love that's that name. You, you, you really. Well, thank you. I love. That's why they announced her at the beginning. I said, do both names, yeah, Radney Pennington, Little E. And so, uh, th you shake your leg like Elvis too. It just I must have somehow it's you've got the Elvis gene. It, it, it just happens. It just, it just, it just <laughs> happens. You talk like Elvis. You <laughs> just, the whole thing. Have you ever been to Tupelo or? I, I've been to Memphis. Memphis? Yep. Yeah. I, I'm the youngest person ever record at uh, Sun. Really. Yeah. Really? Really? He's on my show. That's <laughs> awesome. That's great. Great. Uh, Radney, uh, uh, I went to Tupelo. You need to go there if you have Okay. There. That's where he was born? In Tupelo, mm -hmm. Mississippi? I, I, know. And yeah. I, I know you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But, but you go through the little house that he grew up in. It's, uh, it's amazing. It's like the size of my office over here in this little cabin. Okay. And yeah, there's just like, it's very entertaining as well as informational and uh, enlightening. The, the humble beginnings of Elvis. And I was going to say, uh, when you grew up in Branson, I mean, mm -hmm. did you always know? I mean, you, I mean, it was early on, but what were your, what are your parents like? Like, like how? Uh, well, uh, my mom was real supportive of, of yeah. what I do. And, you know, she, she takes me to my shows and yeah. stuff. And what what so do they do? What does your folks uh, do? Well, my, uh, my grandpa's retired. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I live with my grandpa and grandma. Okay. And uh, they're they're real nice people. Yeah. You should meet them someday. I want to. Yeah. Will you bring them to the show? I, I will. I will. When okay. when am I going to be on here next? Well, Miss <laughs> Norma will take care of that for us. Uh, she, she'll All do right. it. Uh, did you get a Mel Tillis song down by any chance? I did. You did? I did. You gonna try yeah. one here on the show today? Do you want me to? I would love that. I, I'm, I'll in honor my father-in-law, who's. Uh, you know, still in the hospital, but he's really, he's strong now. He's, he's doing a lot better, mm -hmm. and uh, we're praying for Mel, and uh, uh, you know the power of prayer. Oh, yeah. I mean, you were raised right. If your grandparents, yeah. you were raised by, so you know uh, the love of the Lord. Yes, sir. And, and I know you serve the Lord, and you do clean shows, yep. and you do all that, and I just Unlike commend Josh. you. Unlike Josh, yeah. <laughs> he's a little shady, but, but you know, 
<laughs> Boy, if they edit this down and Josh is not on, they'll have no idea what we're talking about. They'll see people need to watch live. I, I got to scoot, but I, I'm telling you, um, what were we talking about? I get confused. Mel Tillis. <laughs> yes, Mel. And uh, but I was just going to say, uh, you're a remarkable young man with not only Thank great you. talent, but I know you love the Lord, and I know yes. that you honor Him with all your shows, even though we do Elvis and all that. I mean, you know. I really believe that you don't have to be just a gospel singer just because you're a Christian. I believe that we need more Christians in the entertainment business mm -hmm. to bring back integrity and righteousness yeah. in that area. And so I commend you. Keep it up. You're only 15? 15. 15. I mean, it's what a great talent. And you're going to do, what Mel tell us song are you going to do? Coca-Cola Cowboy. Coca-Cola Cowboy. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Lily E. Oh, let me get his microphone. <laughs> Edit. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Lit Little E. Hey. Hey. Whenever you're ready, man. I can't collect on the phone. Yeah, come on. You say you're tired and alone. But it sounds like someone else is lying there She said, don't call me no more And don't you knock on my door It's too late now and I know you'll never change And she said, you're just a Coca-Cola cowboy you got an Eastwood smile and Robert Redford hair But you walked across my heart like it was Texas And you taught me how to say I just don't care You said just leave me alone And let me hang up this phone Cause you'll see me cry and think I still love you Please don't call me no more I Change the locks on my door It's time you understand that we are through And she said, you're just a Coca-Cola cowboy you got an Eastwood smile and Robert Redford hair But you walked across my heart like it was Texas And you taught me how to say I just don't care She said, you're just a Coca-Cola cowboy You got an Eastwood smile and Robert Redford hat But you walked across my heart like it was Texas And you taught me how to see I just don't care Yes, she taught me how to say I just don't care. Yeah, Lily Radney Peddington. Come back to do one more song, but until he comes back, I want you to not even think about changing the channel, not about turning off your computer right now. I am going to introduce to you something that is really revolutionary. It's a first of its kind and uh, in the way that it's produced and done. And it's not only that, but it, it will be a blessing to you 
It is a God thing. God says that he would give his people witty inventions. He would give them uh, these things. I, I have so many people I want to introduce you to. If you don't know who Dr. Paul Hegstrom, he right now has success in treating post, uh, the post-traumatic stress syndrome right now. Uh, we're we are introduce you to doctors and those. I have a doctor that has helped me reverse my diabetes where it's not even existent in my life anymore unless I eat popcorn on popcorn day. But uh, <laughs> as you see, I didn't. So I, also, I want to introduce you to the biochemist. He's also, uh, what, what would you refer yourself to as a, a natural? A product formulator. Product formulator. Would you welcome... Dan and Joni Kayleen to the program all the way from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah. This is one of those days that I believe will help change our ministry, will help your life as well. Everything we do, like the generators, or even if, if we do the Bible, or any, the, the water bottle that helps filtrate uh, water and give you pure water, everything we want to do is to help you. It's not just to raise money on a pro. I never want to be considered one of those that, oh, they're just after our money. No. We do need money to, to stay on television now that we're here, but we want to bless you in the same, and so, so I'm buying products that I can give to you to say thank you for giving, and this is those. I've got a big introduction. It's one of the biggest I've ever done for guests, but I am honored that you're here, uh, and I'm so glad that you're here. Let's start with the very first thing. Let's, well, well, just give us a little background. You're from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and you, just, you uh, didn't just stumble in this. You've been working on things like this for some time. Well, um, first of all, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So Yeah, um, no problem. Keep the microphone close to you. Okay. Well, see? see, see, there you go. The I'm louder learning. the better. We're so always we learning. Um, for the record, my wife is a lot smarter than I am, but she just makes me look good. So. Uh, but we're yeah. natural product formulators. We're the owners of uh, BioLite uh, Laboratories, and we want to address health the way I think and believe that God wants us to address health rather than dealing with symptoms. We want to get down to the root cause. Right. When we look at the word pharmacia, uh, where they derive the word a pharmacy from, if you look it up, can anybody tell me what that means? Mm -mm. Witchcraft. Oh, well, that's not Kind of good. an interesting revelation there. And before we go any further, I have a reputation. They say, don't ask Dan the time because he's going to tell you how to build a Swiss watch. So I'm going to try to keep it simple. Yes, you are a true doctor. Or so, a, a somebody true wants to drink a water, and I turn the fire hydrant on. But it's just my passion, both of our passion, to uh, you know, bring revelation about non-invasive things that can help change people uh, Well, we find a that a lot of way. pharmaceuticals will, and I'm not saying that you yeah. pharmaceuticals that are watching, <laughs> you're not yeah. witchcraft yeah. or witches, but uh, a lot of them have side effects. They'll have one thing, and then there's a side effect that comes with it. A yeah. And, uh, I, you know, I, it, absolutely. it doesn't um, have to be, right? I won't go into all of our medical background, but I've been in over 270 cardiac arrests and been in a lot of emergency situations, and thank God that we have uh, medicine that can help in, in a crisis, save people's lives. So I'm not anti-pharmaceutical. No. But unfortunately, we have made that the main staple of how we treat health. And you can't turn on the TV without seeing a pharmaceutical commercial. And then right along after that, and real fast, you know, they list all of the side effects and the symptoms. Right. You can't I've seen that for even for like diabetic medicine. You take this and it'll make you feel good, yeah. but it could cause, you know, everything from diarrhea to death. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> well, I don't think I want that, you know. Yeah. So, uh, but, but you've given me hope, Dan. Yeah. And I keep calling you doctor because to me, you know, yeah. doctor, because you're healing people. We're all doctors. Yeah, We're yeah. healing people. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's true. I do have a doctorate. I have yeah. a little doctor in my name. But, I, yeah. you know, I do healing in a different way. I just yeah. pray for people. And the Bible Amen. says, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And we've yeah. seen, you know, blind eyes open. People get out of their wheelchairs. Amen. I've seen that. Yeah. But there's a, there's a natural, God has put together. Now, this first product, mm -hmm. I love this. I think this will be one of the biggest ever. And this is the first time it's ever on television. Is yes. that correct? That's correct. You cannot get this at uh, any of the, the uh, large uh, stores, consumer right. pr stores. You know, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to name them or not, but yeah. Walmart, Target, Kmart. They're not there. And, uh, but they are available as of today for the first time through our ministry. This is yeah. just big. This is a big day. Yeah. And, and you're clapping now. Thank you. 
But you're clapping, and you, you just have faith in my ministry, but you don't even know what this is. <laughs> but I'll let you, you discuss this. It is patented. It is approved, FDA, or, or any, what it's supposed to be approved by. And so it's not just a fly-by-night. This is, you're saying, hey, this is, uh, I mean, now she's the, she's the manager. She's the one that takes care. So this is legal, real deal, right? Yes. Well, you say it better the, for me this, so they know. It has an NDC number. That means it's listed with the FDA. Mm -hmm. And so, and it is a natural pain-relieving gel. You take this gel. And you can put, and then I want you to back me up and tell me this, uh, this is true. Uh, anything from a headache, leg aches, uh, uh, back aches, neck aches. Now, I'm not just saying because you told me that. I have tried it on friends, uh, even a cynical friend that I have, we put it on. Uh, our director had lower back pain. Within minutes, within minutes, it was gone. And uh, it, it may not be the case for everybody, but you've had 99% uh, satisfaction guaranteed on this, correct? At least. Well, we back it with 100% uh, money back guarantee. Money back if guarantee. If it doesn't work, just return the product and we'll cheerfully refund your it, money. It, it kind of looks like a roll-on, but it's not. It's a, it's, a, it's a gel that you spray. I have a little cut on my hand. Well, that's, that's for a different thing. But I'm, I'll put it on this hand. And it's just a, a little, can you get any closer or not? It's okay if you can't, but... Uh, did I, did I open it? Yeah, it's just a little gel that you squeeze on, and you don't need a lot, right? That's and you correct. do not rub it in. You just rub it on, right? Yeah. Spread a thin layer and just let it soak in. And let it soak in. And you have had testimonials uh, of instant headaches disappearing, correct? Neck aches. I mean, say you had a headache. What mm -hmm. would you do? You put it on where? Well, it works head, on, yeah. on headaches as well as migraines. Now, keep in mind that all migraines are headaches, but all headaches are not migraines. That's to be diagnosed by a medical doctor. Right. So I just qualify that because sometimes people throw that term around uh, loosely when they just have a headache. Uh, but we were at a show, and uh, a lady uh, came up. It was a coworker uh, of this lady that went home for the day throwing up and uh, suffering from a severe migraine. And... She says, I've got to tell her about this product. So when she came back the next day, she says, I've got a massive migraine going. And she said, I've been diagnosed by the doctors, and, and it's really, really bad. Well, she didn't want to buy a bottle until she knew that it worked, understandably. And she put the gel on the forehead, the temple, behind the ears, and the back of the neck, kind of following the hairline. And she got maybe two or three booths down, and she turned around. She says, I can't believe it. And in two minutes, my pain is gone. Um, and we you tell know, you there's hundreds of these kind of testimonials. Yeah. There's one thing yeah. that's going around that I don't understand. I know some people that have this, but with the restless leg uh, syndrome, in, 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 and it's just terrible. It keeps people awake all night, and some medications are supposed to try to stop it, and it's not doing that. Would you recommend that for this? or? No, we actually have a, another product coming oh. out. Oh, I didn't. It, it will help It will some help of the that, pain part of it, But right? for uh, RLS... Um, 30 million Americans suffer from that. Yeah. And you can't stop your legs from shaking. A lot of times what the medical doctors will do, will prescribe Neurontin or something, just knock you out. Uh, was one couple, and, and they love God. They, they want to do things naturally. And he says, the problem is my wife's on this medication, and it knocks her out, but her legs are still moving. She's just not aware of it, and it keeps me up at night. So... Um, what they uh, found was that this product instantly stopped her legs from shaking. She can go to bed at night, wake up early in the morning rather than, you know, 12 o'clock in, in the noon at the crack of day because wow. she would just sleep because of the medication, and it revolutionized her life. Wow. But that product will be coming out soon. Okay. And That's there's no product on not, the market I, did, like I didn't realize yeah. that. But, but arthritis pain? Arthritis, uh, uh, shingles. Shingles, um, wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a pastor who suffers uh, so quick testimony from shingles so bad that he literally has to come out, sit down in a chair, and he just has a sheet around him because he can't stand any clothes touching his body. He's just in that much pain. And he puts this product on, and he can get dressed, and, and it uh, takes care of the symptoms, uh, the pain that uh, he struggles with with shingles. Wow. So, now, this yeah. is huge. I think it's revolutionary. I think God has given this to you. Uh, there's there's silver in here, which I know is a healer, but you told me there's an ingredient in here that I don't think anybody would believe. There's always yeah. these things that 
like yeah, I was mentioning on a program earlier uh, about jellyfish. They found there's something in jelly. What is a jellyfish for? Well, they found that it actually can uh, stop and even in some cases reverse. They use parts of the jellyfish somehow. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one on TV. But uh, <laughs> that they can, uh, you know, Alzheimer's and dementia from the jellyfish. Well, there's a plant that I bet everybody wondered, what in the world did God invent that for? And it is... Well, we have uh, all natural ingredients. Of course, doctor can't just say it's the answer. He's got to say it No, I, I'm <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Answer your question. Uh, we, one of the ingredients, we have 19 botanicals and three minerals. One of those botanicals is Ruus toxtodendron. Which is? Poison ivy. Now, poison I won't ivy. get into uh, Hahnemann, who was the inventor of homeopathic medicine over 200 years ago, was a medical doctor that was dissatisfied with the results he was getting with conventional medicine and felt he was making his patients work worse. And um, anyway, got into understanding. I believe he tapped into some God knowledge and working on the law of infinitesimals and the things that can produce symptoms that would uh, uh, cause certain, or certain ingredients that would cause certain symptoms highly diluted would create opposite symptoms. See. You know, just like polio, we get a little polio, we create antibodies so we don't get the polio. But we highly dilute the poison ivy um, so that what poison ivy we do in full strength does the complete opposite. So instead of creating <laughs> inflammation, it reduces inflammation. Instead of causing redness, it reduces Is redness. That amazing? Instead of causing pain That's my Jesus. and redness, Come on. it reduces all of that. It's wonderful for rheumatism. And so that's one of the ingredients. But we have other natural ingredients in there. All Bellus natural, perennis. right? There's no, like, synthetics or no, any kind of uh, no. chemical that causes no. any side effects. No, no side effects. And it doesn't smell like, you know, you put on some of that other stuff and you can't be in a room with somebody because they can smell that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh, and this is just a nice clear gel with no smell. A clear gel with no smell. Yeah. I got our commercial right there. A clear gel with no smell. Neo Relief. I love this. Everybody needs to have this on their shelf. And uh, I'm not, I'm saying it because it's just totally true. And that's just one of the many natural. This one here, I'm going to use on my other hand. For some reason, I have a cut on my, I think I got dried out and it just turned into a cut. This is called Wound Ease. Now, this does what? It's an antimicrobial, and it also promotes healing. Now, so you try your other things. You try your um, antimicrobials. I, I don't want to name the name of the brands and stuff, but you know, when you have a cut, you put this on so you fight bacteria, and you, you don't get infection. Well, that's good, and that's what's in here. It's new, so I'm just pumping it. There we go. And, and you just put on it. But it not only fights the uh, bacteria, but it does what else? Heals the wound. Heals the actual wound and reverses the cut, the open wound, whatever it is. There's bigger wounds than this. There was a lady, is this the testimonial? Of, I saw the lady that had the, uh, the surgery on her face. I mean, could you put this she stuff? She had the neo relief. Oh, it's it a neo. neo. Mm -hmm. And you show the pictures then, and we'll show those. We've got the pictures for you right now. <laughs> the pictures of a before and after, and even the doctors that did all the, the skin grafts or whatever they do when they do the surgery are amazed. But this now, you run to the shelf and have woundies. It not only fights the bacteria, but binds up the wounds. Now, folks, listen to me. I am not doing a commercial. I don't do commercials. I don't want to just be a fundraiser. I'm telling you, this is stuff that all God's people need to have for themselves and to bless others with in Jesus' name. And this is wound ease. Now, ladies, you're going to love me. I love ladies. If it wasn't for my mom, I wouldn't be here because she gave birth to me. So I love ladies. But you have this monthly, and they call it a friend. It is no friend of a, of a lady. It is no friend of mine and my wife. <laughs> uh, I, I travel with an evangelist. His wife called it the doctor. The doctor is here. And uh, so I didn't think that was nice either for doctors. But you know what I'm talking about, that you have the, you know, how do, how do you say it in nice doctor ease? They have... <laughs> Period. They have, they're, they're periods. <laughs> that is exactly. Uh, but with that comes menstrual cramps and, and so much discomfort. Pain and discomfort. this has testimonial upon testimonial. Natural ingredients, folks. These are things that God made that you, you place this gel on, on your lower abdomen. On your lower abdomen. And lower back because the nerves run out of the low back to that area. 
So put it on the low back also, and it will re take cramps and pain and discomfort away quickly. Quickly. How, how many ladies would love something like that? Now, I have a whole table of ladies could care less because <laughs> they're, over, they're over 60. But... They, they, they know they younger have, ladies, though, so that's... They have family, you know, they, they know. Uh, I am telling you, this is, they are worth hundreds of dollars to us a piece. But I'm telling you that for $25, a gift to this ministry, we will send you this Neo Relief. For $25, we will send you the wound ease that will not only heal as well, but will bind up the wounds. And God told us we should bind up the wounds, right? I mean, that's biblical. And then for $25, we have the period relief. And uh, that... Because it's called the period, I guess. That's what they, it's really more of an exclamation point, right? Uh, there are some days my wife is a superhero, the hot flash. And uh, so <laughs> I needed the drum for that one right here. Radney, you're going to really follow a great time here. Uh, but these are $25 a piece. You can get them individually, but you can mix and match any three. If you want three of these, three of these, three of these, or all three of these, we will do that. That's a $75 retail value that we will give to you for 60. And the reason we picked that number is because we have done 60 programs. Now we're past 60. Actually, this is number 64. So we thought for $60, we can give you all three, or you can pick any three and give them away and bless people with. We think these will go uh, by the hundreds and the thousands because this is something... It really promotes health and healing, and I am all for that. Just, just tell us, uh, just close out this section with just, just, just saying uh, how, just, because I know you're honored. I know you're humbled. You're, you're not a prideful person. I, I've met with you for the past couple of days. We've had fellowship. You guys love the Lord with all your heart. And I want you to just give glory to God here in the last minute. Just what you, ever you want to say. And maybe give him a little teaser of some other thing. Oh, I shouldn't do that. But there are other things. You heard about the restless leg thing. But there's, oh, oh, there's so much more that God is downloading into this man and his team. And it's such a blessing. Just give glory to God and how you want to close out. Um, I don't know how much time we have because if you ask me to give glory to God, I will not, uh, I won't shut up. Uh, we have to thank him every day. You know, the scripture talks about there's life or death in the power of the tongue. Mm. Um, God spoke all things into existence. And uh, Hebrews, I believe, talks about uh, the word of God's power, turns that around. Uh, Mashur Emoto, I know a friend of his, did a study on vibration and mm, yeah, words that, that we speak. There's, you know, like I say, life or death. Um, these products not only incorporate chemistry, but in physics. And I won't go into all the depth of that, but we're actually deriving the frequency out of these botanicals that promote healing in the body. Every one of those Thank ingredients you. does something to provoke a healing response within the body. And so instead of dealing with symptoms, the more you use the product, the more effective it is where pharmaceuticals, right. you develop a tolerance. Yeah. And so we're trying to do it God's way. And That's a lot awesome. of medical doctors understand chemistry, but they have a hard time wrapping their mind around the physics of this. Um, when you look at uh, an atom, we know we think that was the smallest component of all things that exist, but now there's quirks, and now we find neotrines that are uh, trillions of times, they, scientists say, smaller than an atom. I believe it's the voice of God is what they're finding I that hold too, all things together. And mm -hmm. all we're doing was they're tapping into that. It's not New Age. Uh, I love New Agers. They just the only problem is is they got a lot of a lot of knowledge, yeah. but they leave Jesus out. That's and right. And they put themselves in the center. They don't go to the soul. Well, you know, I grew up in the fifties and sixties and we said, I got bad vibes, or I get good vibes. You know, there's a lot of truth to that. It's true. And so we have ingredients in there that that uh, some that work on the principle of like curing like. Um, and others like Bellus perennis, which is daisy, uh, that helps with bruising and wow. reduces inflammation. And so everything there daisy, is everything comes from nature. Yes. God spoke life into these things, and all we're doing is we're tapping into that life, and we're putting it together. And unlike most of the products that you see on the market that using menthol, camphor, capsaicin, wintergreen, it's all been just sliced and diced the same thing over and over again. And... Um, these don't sting, stain, or smell. 
and nope. it, it promotes healing instead of what the FDA class of high says a counter irritant yeah. to sim yeah. Always ever been allergic? No, no, no. Always allergic. Even people oh. that have said they're highly allergic to poison ivy. As a matter of fact, if you get poison it, ivy, it this will, will clear it up ivy. in a few days rather than a few weeks. Yeah. So yeah. it's a God thing. Um, we give him. We talk about witty inventions, and um, yeah. it's you know whatever gift or talent God has, just take it and run with it. A man's gift to make room for him, and that's all we're doing. I mean, we give God all the glory for. Isn't that great? His knowledge Come on, give God revelation. some praise here. Now the woundies does have a little clove smell in it that, that, that one I, does because that, with infection you can get you know a, a bacterial odor of course and um, oh. so we put a little clove in there because nice. some psychologically people think that because there's an odor there that it works better and that's the thing with other pain relievers but here's what you do you don't rub it in vigorously let the energy do its thing just smear it around wow. don't put it over other topical remedies yeah uh, so lotions lotion, and other things yeah, yeah just kind of remove that and, and and let the product do what God designed it to do. That is awesome. Um, That'll preach. But there's 300 pain relieving products on the market, if you can believe that, across the world. But there's nothing as unique as this one. And instead of being a counter irritant, you put it on and it gets cool, it's hot, and distracting the brain. This actually promotes healing. So those products don't have any odor to them. Uh, we have a little. Uh, we're, and we change it a little ethyl alcohol to have it dry faster, but it, it dries pretty quick anyway. So if women are on the run and they have to run in the ladies' room and between classes or on the go, um, it still dries really quick and it won't stain your clothes. For the period relief. Yes, yep. But this one has a little uh, mm -hmm. clove odor to it, and, and we have some numbing properties because when you get a cut, it hurts. But um, yes, we, we also it. have, it's no a basically a thousand to one concentrate anymore. of aloe at 3%. No product on the market has that. And it does amazing things. Um, it, tell them what happened to us uh, when some friends of ours invited uh, to go on vacation. Oh, we were on the beach in Cancun and uh, a man came up that was selling jewelry and he had a big bandage on his leg and I said, uh, you know, what did you do? And he said, oh, I had a motorcycle accident and it was like six weeks earlier. And he um, opened it. I said, could I see it? And he opened the bandage, and it was, it was pussy and oozing. And so we gave him Neo Relief, and he put it on, and he came back two days later. It was completely scabbed over. And he had been fussing with it for six weeks. Wow. And then we gave him the pain, uh, the Neo mm -hmm. Relief after that. Mm -hmm. And he so came back and a day after that, and it was, like, completely wow. just... He was so amazed. He so wants to sell our product in Mexico so now. So make this, yeah, that's that's awesome testimony. And and honestly, we could do two hours of show. But I don't want it to be an infomercial. I just want to get this into your hands. And I, I want to uh, bless you today. Uh, so if you have a wound, uh, don't don't put uh, period relief on it. If you have a headache, don't put woundies on your head. You know, do for the right thing. But the power of life and death is in the tongue. You said that. Let us confess the Lord Jesus today. If you don't know him, he will reveal great things to you every day. He does to me for this program. He does to them for their product. He wants to come into your life and be real in your life. I'm not telling you to join a church or be part of a religion. It's great to be part of a fellowship, but I want you to find Jesus. It's a, not a religion. It's a relationship. And when you do, when you confess him, that's the great power of all, that when you say, Jesus, I confess you as Lord of my life. I believe you're the Son of God and that you were raised from the dead. Then he says, I will save you and your household. I will be there for you. If you confess the Lord, he is faithful and just. He'll forgive your sins, cleanse you from all unrighteousness, and remove your past and start you on a path of greatness and great things. God has a great plan for your life. Would you invest in the Lord Jesus Christ first? And along the way, if you have some pains and you have some, some wounds that need to be healed, go ahead and order today. You can call the number that's right there, right below us, 209-44-KEVIN. Call it. You can order. That's the quickest way. You can go online. You can go right there. Those that are online already, you know it's kevinshory.com. Go to kevinshory.com. Order it there. You can do it through the credit or debit card right there online. You can send it through the snail mail if you want to, and we'll get it to you through the mail, P.O. Box 525. Uh, Reeds Spring, Reed Spring, Missouri, 65737. And so all of those ways are ways you can get in contact us. Contact, if you would like all three or three of one, that is only $60 today. And as long as we can, we will keep it at that price or $25 a piece. It's the best buy to get them at three. 
and uh, I know it will be a blessing to you. Thank you so much, Dan and Joni. Thanks for you having us. Have, aren't they a blessing to the body of Christ? <laughs> and uh, I want you to stay here for those that, uh, you know, disappear from television. We're going to keep some cameras or whatever rolling. And maybe some of y'all have some questions. Anybody have some questions that you'd like? If you'd like some questions, they're going to try to answer. We're going to have a little question and answer. See what you get when you watch us live. So join us on Roku. Come on, will you? Uh, in the meantime, to seal the whole deal. Speaking of greatness, though, we do have greatness. My One of the greatest CDs I ever did, uh, I probably sold more of that CD than any CD in my life, was the, the Valley Walker CD. And uh, you can begin again some of the great songs. And a, a new, uh, it was a new uh, production of the song, He Was There All the Time. This great songwriter who wrote He Was There All the Time, produced that CD, is in the studio audience. And I honor him today. And I'm ready for him to come and be on the show and be a co-host for a whole week. Gary S. Paxton is sitting out there. Thank you, Gary. Yes, that's you. We love you. We love you. Love you so much. And we love Little E so much, too. Come on, what you going to do now for us? I'm going to do a Chuckers song for you. All right, come on. Right. Here's Little E, Randy Pennington, to close out the program. We're going home, but remember, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Here's Little E. Take us out, buddy. A trucker's life ain't easy, Lord. So far away from home Lonely days and lonely nights Traveling all alone Ride with me, why don't you, Lord As I travel down these roads Down these lonely highways Hauling heavy loads Lord, keep these big wheels turning Wherever I may roam Take good care of my family While I'm away from home And thank you, Lord, for dying Upon that rugged cross No matter where I am This trucker's never lost Lord, guide this rig through the storms and trials along the way. Give me peace when nights are long and patience with each day. And then when I get back home, how grateful I will be. Thank you, Lord, for being my guest and riding next to me. Lord, keep these big wheels turning wherever I may roam. Take good care of my family while I'm away from home. And thank you, Lord, for dying upon that rugged cross. No matter where I am, with this trucker's never lost. Thank you, Lord, for dying. I'm no longer lost. And of course, we may get some stuff that we'll use in a spot later. If you have any questions about the product or any other, maybe uh, you want to know other things that might help and... Uh, so uh, we're back. We're back, and we're just taking some questions and answers from the studio audience with Dan and Joni. Does anybody have any questions? Well, just raise your hand. We get a microphone to you, and uh, Marshall has one right here on the camera too. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Sorry. Okay, so just it inhibits the pain receptors. That's what it does. Or do you I need a picture of that? Or, or hold on, hold on. Let's get a camera. And go. All right, so yeah, my question would be, it just, does it inhibit the pain receptors? Is that how it works? Is it just the signals to your brain or cut off? Or I'm not, you know, a doctor like you are, obviously. But yeah, if you could explain that, it'd be great. 
Well, as I said earlier, most of what you see on the market, uh, the FDA has classified as counter irritants. So it's, you're trying to create a sensation that's overriding the pain by distracting oh. the brain. So, you know, I hit my thumb, someone hit the, the other one or tickle the other one to, you know, so you get mixed signals coming in. It does nothing to fix the pain or to turn the pain switch off. This works on a number of different principles, uh, on the principle of physics, like hearing like, but uh, we also have ingredients that we get the full benefit from, like, uh, you know, daisy and um, horse chestnut and things that help uh, the skin and varicose veins and reducing pain and small joints, and each one targets something. But it inhibits pain-sensitive neurons, works on the C-fibers. It also increases vasodilation. We have uh, atro uh, atropa belladonna, no, commonly known as belladonna. What's that word before you said, the basal, uh, it's what, what a is that? Basal dilation. So a lot of what happens when you can increase blood flow to an area, you can reduce pain by bringing oxygen and nutrients and um, the body will heal itself. No doctor ever heals anybody. The body heals itself. We just got to put it in, in an optimal position oh. to do what God created it to do. And so uh, those are the mechanisms by which the product works. Um, yeah, it reduces inflammation as well. Hmm. So inflammation causes pain. Did you mention varicose veins? Um, this well, can help that? It will help, but we do have a later down. <laughs> we, it's <laughs> Another it's already been formulated. It hasn't <laughs> hit the market, but uh, it does a great job reducing varicose veins. But we have more of the horse chestnut and other things that are in there that really target uh, those kind of symptoms. So coming soon, yeah. to a, a TV show to you yeah. will have those kind of things. You know, when we look at um, a little crash course in physics here, um, and if it goes over your head, that's okay. It doesn't mean you're not getting it. So it's you've just done that half the show for me. I no, don't not really. <laughs> if, if we take an atom and we blow it up proportionally so that the atom is, you know, the, uh, the nucleus is the size of a marble, the electron, creating the electron cloud is about the size of a grain of sand, if you can't imagine that, and picture a BB. But the distance between those two is two miles. So it begs the question, if this atom is the smallest component of, of you know, the building blocks of, of everything that we know, um, what's going on in all it's that all empty space? It, yeah. And that's where the voice of God is. That's where frequency Ooh. is. Um, 